In Vicom India, and it was forbidden for centuries for the untouchables to take the direct road to their homes because it passed by a Brahmin temple. And again, the Brahmins were the higher caste, the priests and the, the educated. They were orthodox in their belief system. And so in protest, the high caste reformers of the day joined with their friends who were untouchables. And they protested by walking that road and stopping at, in front of that temple. But the Orthodox Hindus attacked them, they arrested them, and they put them in prison. And so thousands of volunteers then gathered and walked that road in India in the support and the spirit of Satyagraha. The police set up a barricade so they couldn't go any further. And so when they met that barricade, they stood in prayer and asked the police if they could pass. And so there was this stalemate, this silence, the police on one side of the barricade, the reformers on the other side of the barricade that were standing in prayer. And they stood like this, the two sides, for a very, very long time. Everyone began to suffer on both sides after a while. The people ached from standing and praying the policemen ached from holding up their guns, poised. And so there was just an overall kind of suffering happening in the whole area. Months went by, and Gandhi gave a speech to encourage the volunteers, and he said, do not blame the police or the Brahmins for their beliefs. Just stand firm in your own beliefs. He said three quarters of the world's miseries and misunderstandings would would melt away if we could stand in the viewpoint, in the shoes of, of our so-called adversaries. So it's important that you don't blame them for having different beliefs than you. And this maybe buoyed up the volunteers for a little longer. They had quietly resolved that they were not going to give in, that they were going to really c continue to stand for the rights of the untouchables. So then the rainy season came. And people got really weary standing in the rain. Sometimes it was so high it was up to their shoulders. And people continued to stand on both sides around these barricades. So time went on and eventually people started to just really outwardly suffer. A policeman began to weep. And one of the people who was praying on the other side of the barricade, his lips swollen with the heat of the sun, began to bless that policeman. And as they began to feel each other's pain, the barricade came down. One at a time, the policeman moved these sections of the barricade. But at that point, the volunteers had decided that they weren't going to just give in there, that they wanted to stand until the rights of the untouchables were understood and, and that there was a, a sense of equality. And so they continued their prayers. After 16 months, the Brahmins finally emerged from the temple. 16 months. And they said, we can't resist your prayers anymore. We receive the untouchables. <laughs>